Here's a little trick you might not be aware of. If I bring open the VS Code command palette using Control P on Windows or Command P on Mac, and I just type EDT and then space, VS Code will show me a list of all active editors. So this is all the open files. You'll see here that it's displaying them in two groups. So we have the two groups open here, um, one over here, one over here. The first group has two files within it. The second group has just a single file. And I can actually browse through this list to change files. So I'm going to just select the code action file and switch to that over there. But I can also then start typing to filter down the list. So let's say I wanted to find things related to languages. Um, if I just start typing, it will filter down the list by file name and by the folder that the file is contained within. There's a few other commands you can use along with EDT. So if I say EDT MRU, for example, and then space, VS Code will show me a list of the most recently used files. So here, the last file that I had open was this language provider file. The one before that was code action, and then the one before that was refactor. So this is sorting that list by their most recently order, most recently used order. If I instead type edt active like this, then space, VS Code will instead only show me the files that are within the currently active group. So I'm currently in the I'm focused within this first editor group, editor group over here. And it's only showing me files within that group. And then again, I can start typing to filter down that list. So that is the EDT command in the command palette.